Well, sticking around uh, the WWF here, a couple of random story. I, I threw them in here just because you were watching, you know, you were a fan that could actually know what the hell you were watching at this time. So I uh, wanted to see if you had any memories. Uh, Jerry Lawler debuted his new King's Court segment at the WWF TV tapings in Utica on April 11th, including a segment with Nikolai Volkov that went nowhere. Was this when Volkov joined the Million Dollar Corporation? Uh, that's actually my next story here was, uh, speaking of Volkov, Ted DiBiase will be managing Nikolai Volkov, okay. who is now penniless and will be humiliated by DiBiase on a regular basis. God, he was just saddled with crap. I just got his, I just got his elite figure, by the way. He was just saddled, oh, saddled with crap. I mean, yeah. and I feel bad too, because he was like part of the, like, I mean, he was a proud Russian. And like he took crap, obviously, yeah. because of the Soviet Union. And then when it, that collapsed, he became like an American Russian. Yeah, I was going to say that. I know they came out with a Mattel figure of him with the American flag on his trunks. Was this around, was this pre or post, I'm proud to be an American? That was post, I believe. Okay. Wait, Mattel? You mean? No, I'm, I'm talking like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking like right, like during this time period. Was he, had he already done that? And now he's he had already just... done that. Yeah. I think okay. now he's like broke and he's got like brown hair now. Like he has hair period. He, he always shaved his head. Um, yeah. He yeah. looked disheveled. Yeah. Go back. Yeah. And the, the only, the only pay-per-view I can give you any reference to see him on is WrestleMania 11 in the main event. He's one of the guys outside. That's what he looked like in this run. Yeah, I remember that. And and he wore like a almost like a tuxedo t shirt. Yes, and instead of a dollar sign they had a cent sign. Oh my gosh, yeah. That Even was so as like stupid. a ten year old kid I looked at that like, wow, he's only worth a few pennies. Like I literally thought this. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, it's stupid. <sighs> well, yeah, you know what though? It was the occupation uh gimmick era and he didn't get one of those, so he should count as lucky stars. Yeah. No, he got a lack of occupation gimmick. Uh, well, I got, might be better, actually. <laughs> he, well, it, he could have, he could have just been like, well, like Russia, I made some bad bets and I sunk all my money into Afghanistan. So, oh, <laughs> here I am. Leave me out of that one, please. Move on. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. That's why that, that's a major reason why the USSR failed is because of like ongoing, never-ending wars in the Middle East. That's why there's still Russian tanks there that they couldn't afford to get home. They just left them in the desert. They're like, eh, you have them. <laughs> We're coming home. 